Hello, you guys. What is up with you? Welcome back to Sydney's channel where I do tarot card picker. What the hell? <laughs> Welcome back to Sydney's channel where I do tarot card picker card readings and like whatever the hell I want. So today I had a request from um, a subby. Hopefully you're a subby. I had a request to do a picker card reading on how do your children feel about you. So I have three pals, um, like always. How do your children feel about you? For pile number one, I have this TCL remote. So my TCL TV. Well, I have two down back. I have this remote that goes to like my little lamp over here. It's like a colorful lamp. You can change the colors and whatnot. But this is that remote for pile two. For pile three, I have this TLC Ruko TV remote. So whatever. You know, whatever pile you're feeling towards, I will say pick one pile, okay? Pick one pile. These messages are going to be very specific. I'm going to choose pile number two. So, you know, if you choose pile number two of me, you know, we just sit here together. But I'm going to start with pile number one. So those who chose this TCL Roku, excuse me, it's not the Roku, TCL remote, you might have to watch pile three, even though I just told you to pick only one pile. But since I said the Roku, Check out pile three too, especially if you have multiple children. If you are um, going between those two, those might be like your separate children. Or if you have like more than two, two might feel this way, one might feel this way. But this is for you, pile one. Ancestors, guides, um, spirit, please protect this reading and provide healing and information. You know? So how does um, the children of pile one feel about them? How do their children feel about them? Okay. I feel like, okay, so with all children, like, children feel about, okay, here it goes. Children don't like to tell you how they feel about you because they're afraid of the feedback they might get back or the reaction they might get back. Yeah. I feel like Your children decided like to not really worry about you. Yeah, and just keep the peace. Like I see like not like worry, not like worry, but like like they don't take like I see like when they don't really try to get what they want from you or like when they don't put up a fight too much or they they won't be like too sassy or too extra. They see that they get what they want from you. So it's kind of like yeah, you train your kids to like act a certain way. So if you see them like now, they might curse outside of you or like, you know, act a certain way when you're not around, but that's just so they can get what they want. Or like, they may appear like they're not really interested in giving you what you want. Yeah, the 10 of wands in reverse and the three of cups in reverse. Okay, so your children can really stay hidden from you and like show face for you when they're around you. Like, when they're not around you, they're kind of like just in hermit mode, doing their thing. Not really doing too much. I don't see anything crazy here. They're not, if you're worried, like, if your child is doing some crazy stuff, no. They barely um, get out with their friends. Or, like, they don't, they probably dropped a few friends just so they don't have to worry about it. If you worry about, like, what's going on with your child, they probably just broke up with somebody. Like, just got out of a successful, excuse me, an unsuccessful relationship um, that they have been working on for a while. Yeah. So they're kind of like, I don't know, they're kind of like apologetic about that. They might have like broken down in some way or like kind of hit rock bottom in a certain way because of a relationship. But I feel like they're not worried about that relationship anymore. They're actually pretty balanced right now. But how do they feel about you? I feel like they love you. There's not really, there's not really like a lot to say. I got the nine of wands in reverse. I feel like in the past, y'all, you could have, um in the past you could have um contributed to some trauma that had this person in a cycle but i feel like this person has just ended that cycle so now you know there's nothing in the way of y'all's relationship anymore i feel like you could have manifested this you could have manifested you and your children being closer and you have manifested it yeah you have no you don't have to do any more magic you don't have to do any more repetitions you don't have to do any more praying about that god has answered you you are going to have a very 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 close relationship yeah, I feel like you're worried about that. You're worried about if y'all, um, I feel like you're worried about how you're seeing your child right now. You worry about them. Yeah, you're not really happy of like how guarded they have been towards you or like they can't like come to you for certain things. I feel like that's clearing up because they just ended a cycle. 
seeing two cycles that just ended. They had ended a cycle with like, I guess like if they have been like transient or like inconsistent with money, they, they're ending that cycle. They're becoming more stable. They just got a job or they're, they're getting like serious about their future. If you feel like your daughter is like kind of like on the loose side, like she doesn't really respect herself or she shows her body too much. I feel as though your daughter just came out of a time where she didn't like her body and she wasn't like accepting of herself. So I would say to give her patience, you know, I feel like because you're an adult, you know better. You're like, yeah, you know what type of attention that brings, but she's not like showing off her body or like doing certain things for attention. It's like her own confidence. Um, I feel like a breakup or like past relationships have really made her feel very unconfident and very unsatisfied with herself and very guarded. And she's working through that, especially if this is like a fire sign, um, a fire sign, earth sign, Gemini, Aries. <laughs> I'm getting Aries heavy, Gemini heavy, um, an earth sign. I don't really feel Pisces, but this could be in Pisces season that they're working through. Like they just, they just worked through this or like in Pisces season, they could have just broke up with somebody. It, it wasn't working out. This person probably was like juggling this person. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just seeing a lot of cycles. Like, this person's finally falling in love with themselves, and they're finally, like, so strong. Like, especially if they're, like, a Leo, or if they're, like, um, yeah, this person has to, has to, like, walk away from, like, a lot of, like, cycles in their lives that really hurt them. Like, imagine, like, walking away, like, the only, the only path you have to walk on is, like, broken glass. So that's, like, what your child is going through, especially if they're, like, especially if they're a Leo, especially, if they, this could be a, um, a son too. So if you have a daughter or a son, this could be a daughter or a son, if they're a fire sign, I feel like the son will be a Leo and the daughter will be like an Aries or a fire sign or close to that um, season or in between, um, excuse me, my nose is stuffed up. <laughs> in between like Pisces to Leo season, they could be born, but they are walking away from, yeah, toxic relationships. So if you're wondering like what's going on with your child, Especially if they're, like, older, if they're, like, um, I'm trying to see an age here. That's, like, uh, if they're older, I'm hearing, like, they can be from, like, 16 to 36 or, like, 16 to 26. I'm getting that. Like, they're just walking away from, like, a toxic relationship that, you know, it wasn't going anywhere for them. They lost patience or they just saw, like, you know, there's no healing here. There's no patience here. This is kind of getting their intuition back. I feel like this really has nothing to do with you. But I do feel like you are manifesting a better... I feel like they're manifesting a better relationship with you. Like, they really want a better relationship with you. They don't want to keep going outside of their family to find a family. They want to, they want to like, look at their family now. Because before, I feel like they were going outside of, like, the family to find a family. Because they didn't feel like, you know... They didn't feel that, like that close knit together or they didn't feel like important. So they had to like always go outside of the family to feel understood. And then I don't know why I wanna cry, but um whew. I have to get myself together. Hold up. But I feel like this is a lot that this person is going through. I feel like you don't even really see that that's why you try to like watch them all the time or like you you're always worried about them because you feel their energy but you don't they don't say anything so it kind of keeps you always worried and like kind of always like looking out or like it kind of keeps you on guard like it, it makes you feel attacked because this person is going through personal things it has nothing to do with you they always wanted a good relationship with you they probably didn't in the past but they're letting that go so things can work with you so you're their mother or father um they really do want things to work with you, but they're going through their own journey, like their own spiritual awakenings, their own heartbreaks. Yeah. So, especially if they're like a fire sign, female or male, um, they really want to be married really bad, <laughs> but they feel like they're wasting time in relationships. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like, this person was like with somebody who wasn't committing to them or wasn't offering them anything and they're working on their confidence and working on getting their priority straight working on saving their money working on their relationship with money working on their relationship with self working on their relationship with being brave yeah okay especially a fire sign female working on being independent being more 
um, stable with themselves, be more reliable for them, for themselves. Yes, be more stable. This person just got out of like karmic cycles that just weren't working for them, and like just like I felt like they kept being offered or like being like attracted, like attracting things that were not for them. Yeah, well, fortune reverse, but this is what's not for them. I feel like when they were attracting or bringing these things into their lives, they didn't really know who they were, and now they know who they are, and now they can like sit in there like independent stable like they can be stable now so now since they're stable because i feel like they were very unstable in the past y'all are going to have a much better relationship but i feel like you know this is like how your child feels about you i feel like your child loves you like they love you they're just going through their own shit <laughs> they have like their own lives and it's, it's like I feel like sometimes it's not enough for this person to like give you their time or like to reach out or to like call you because they're really worried about the relationship between you two because they feel like you know talking to you or communicating with you you could be kind of manipulative emotionally especially with your words you could be manipulative with your words um you can be fast to like you know cut them or you can be fast to curse them out or you can be fast to, like dismiss them like kind of fast like i feel like with you you really have to slow down and listen to your child listen because it's like you don't listen to like you don't listen to this person to understand them you listen to this person to speak and it's really quickly so that's why this person kind of like all right they're gonna like leave you where you're at and they're gonna you know kind of just meditate on it and just try to keep the relationship as you know as um what is it cordial as possible yeah it's really hard to speak to you like about anything like things that are going on in their life it's really hard to speak to you because you're you're you come off very harsh or very dismissive or like you don't care or like their emotions are a burden to you so maybe that's why they don't come and talk to you yeah especially if they're a taurus or especially if they're like a gemini you really hurt this person's feelings like i can see like every time like they get off the phone with you like you might hang up like, you may you might hang up on them and they they like cry at the words or like you really cause i'm not gonna flex pile one you cause a lot of pain to your child like a lot of trauma but they still want a good relationship with you and even if you accept that or not you have to understand that you you caused a lot of pain for this person a lot of like mental anguish i feel like you were a part of this cycle they had with people like people that they feel like you know walking away from them it's like walking on glass or like just being around them it's like walking on eggshells yeah and also like you know you can feel like their father i don't know why i'm getting this their father has to step up or they like didn't really step up or didn't take the action that they needed to but i feel like I feel like you could be kind of like emotionally manipulative kind of one to your children and like not willing to really like, I don't know, I just feel like a lot of emotional manipulation. It's like you do things when it's your way or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you feel like their father is emotionally manipulative, but I feel like you can be very emotionally manipulative. And then after you're emotionally manipulative, you want to give like peace offerings or like bring gifts or like, you know, oh, like you just cursed out your daughter and then you haven't talked to her in three days. You and then you pull up with like a gift or like paying for lunch or paying for a bill. I feel like that's how you treat, treat your daughter or your son. You're saying your daughter. Yeah. Maybe you're afraid that you can't really see a future for your daughter. You feel like she, this person can't make choices for themselves, but they are. They're they're getting there. Like I feel like they are. Like they're very stable right now. They have money. They're very driven. In their career. They can have a business. They can be an entrepreneur. Like they they got a lot of things going on with them that you don't even know about. Yeah. So this person going through a whole transformation. They're really maturing because they they have to learn some hard lessons yeah you feel like this person's not good with money or like this person doesn't worry about their future or they're wasteful but i feel like this person's actually like a really good mom especially if they're a mom or like they're very nurturing or like you fail to like nurture this person correctly and it's just like it caused them a lot of failure 
and they have to pick up the pieces. I'm sorry. I don't want to like tell you that, but that's what I'm getting. Any advice? Sometimes we gotta, yeah. So you have to um, understand that with the seven of cups, it's not really all about you. This person, like you're one of the cups of like seven cups this person has in their life. And I feel like, <laughs> I just feel like emotionally, like it's not there with you. Like this person loves you, but I feel like they don't attach emotions to you anymore because I feel like in the past I just broke their heart. Like they're um, going about the situation a new way with you. So whereas they, they won't, emotionally attach themselves to you they won't take anything personally from you because I, they if they do it's just going to make them unhappy and it's going to make them feel like they're they're not growing because you it's kind of like you keep them and like how you view them like you don't view them as like getting anywhere so it's just like yeah and this person is like this person's kind of done thinking about it like that's just how they're going to go about it like you know it is what it is this is my mom i'm taking her for who she is and where she's at but they're not going to like, you know, connect emotion to it because it just has made them unhappy in the past. So yes, number one, if that was your reading, you know, if it resonated, please comment down below. Um, like, comment, subscribe for the video. And yeah, if you made it this far, leave a little star emoji down below. And I'm going on to how to. So those who picked how to, the little um, color lamp remote, I picked this how to. Oh, here is how your child feels about you. I heard making my way downtown, walking fast, dangerous fast in the home now. Your children, your children might love like driving in a car with you or like going places with you. They love going outside. They love music. They love singing with you. So if you sing with your children, they love that. They love when you like. <laughs> They just love being with you, like being outside. Like I'm seeing like you running errands. Like you can just be going to the store or like going to Kroger. They love going to Kroger. They love going to Target with you. They love driving in a car with you. Ugh. All right, so how does the children feel about pal number two? I mean, how does pal number two children feel about them? How does pal number two children feel about them? Oh, they love when you give them gifts. They love when you're like, you're really pretty. Even if they're young, they think that you're really pretty. They think that you're really protective of them. Um, because like, this is a um, a snake, but she has eggs. Like these are eggs here. Like your children sees you as like a go-getter. Like you don't care where you're going or like if you have a new start because she has the ace of wands here. Or like if you're like a entrepreneur, they know that you're going to protect them. It don't matter how young they are. You can be pregnant with your child right now and your child knows that you're going to protect them. Your child knows that you're a go-getter. Your child knows, like, your child chose you because they knew, like, you were going to be, like, this big entrepreneur. You're going to have all this money. Or you're going to be, like, the supermodel. Or you're, you're going to be, like, this college girl that has, like, all these degrees. And you are going to protect them, like, along with, like, along with your, like, legacy or along with your passions. Like, you didn't choose between your children and your passions. You chose your children and your passion. Even if you have to do it alone. Like, even if you have to do it alone, you, like... I feel like they worry about you, too. Maybe they feel like you're tired or you need a break or, like, they see, like, you're depressed. Yeah, they can see, like, even if they're young, like, even if they're young, like, one or two, I keep getting that, like, they're young, <laughs> like, they could be under, like, like, four or, like, they could be, like, nine to eight or even, like, nine to eight months or you could be, like, eight months pregnant, about to pop, like, because I'm getting the tower card here, they know that you're a go-getter, they know that you're like this entrepreneur, you're very feisty, you're very sexy, you're very beautiful. Like your children see you as this, like you're very feisty and beautiful. And it's kind of crazy how they know that you're stressed, especially if you're pregnant, your baby knows that you're stressed. Or like if they're young, even if you would have never like guess, like they know what stress is. Like they're little humans, they've been here before. They, they're just starting over, you know? But like, oh my gosh, your child loves you so much. 
yeah, your child knows like when you're stressed. <laughs> your child can see that and they don't like that. I heard, take a break, mommy. Like, your child wants you to like be your best. Yeah, your child really, your child hates to see you sad. Like, even if you're like, I'm about to cry, y'all. I don't know why these aren't getting me so emotional. But like, okay. I thought I was recording all the time, but I don't know where I stopped that. But I'm gonna go here. But yes, your child loves you a lot. Your child knows when you're depressed. Your child wants you to kind of keep your cups to yourself right now. Um, it's like your child like sips out, like like sips out the opportunities that come to you spiritually. Like your child is your guardian angel. So literally, you guys have literally gave birth to your guardian angel. Like that's what I'm hearing. Like this guardian angel, like in the spirit, your child like sips through the opportunities coming to you. Like. Let's say like you're sad, right? Your child sees that you're sad. In the spirit, your child's going to go get you four opportunities, okay? <laughs> Even when you lose five, your child's going to bring you four opportunities. Like their energy, everything like that. Like they're your guardian angel. And then I pulled these cards. Sorry, because I, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So now I have to back up what I was saying. Um, and how these came out. So basically this came out like this. Oh, yeah. So yeah, your child, especially with love offers, your child knows like immediately when somebody is not for you. Like if you're like dating a fuck boy or you were dating a fuck boy and it wasn't working out, you wasn't happy. It's because your child was cutting that out. <laughs> because like, look, like you, you lost five cups. Your child is going to get you four cups. And this person is trying to take nine cups away from you. Your child sees that. So like, let's say, like, you have a boyfriend and your child is acting up or, like, your child is, like, being really annoying or not giving y'all the, the time of day or, like, you can never have time to spend time with this person because your child always is, like, God forbid, sick or playing sick or just acting up. It's because your child is trying to protect you from this person, okay? And then what came out after that was um this, yeah. Basically, they're trying to get rid of this person with the Eight of Cups. Like, like sometimes they get rid of them when it's too late. Like, you don't, you're not seeing the signs. Your child is like, hey, like this person's trying to take nine cups from you, but, you know, they only took eight. But that was a lot because your, your child got you four of those cups, you know? But them walking away from you, especially was in a love, like, especially with sudden, um... It's bringing you so much stability and so much balance and independence. That's back to that, like, entrepreneur, like, spirit. Like, these relationships were draining you. Like, they're, like, emptying out your cups. Now, since you can walk away from these things and put your children as a priority, which they love. They love being your priority. <laughs> they love your attention. They love when you give them gifts. They love when you give them love. They love when you give them kisses. They love when you spend time with them. Like, I do see, like, after a tired moment, you're going to become very, um stable and very independent and very like self-reliant but i feel like you're just your children are helping you be your a better you because these situations that come in especially if they're like love offers that come in when these people try to take more than they're giving to you your children is going to zap them out like your children are like in the 5d they're your guardian angels they're in a 5d zapping these people out it don't matter if they're lovers they're friends they're zapping them out and they're bringing you you know good offers but you you're, you don't know that because they're like kind of sneaky they're like yeah i'm i'm not you know <laughs> your child is like yeah i'm not i'm not dude i'm not girl on the 5d like they go and get you cups and stuff this is pretty cool like this is so cool i feel like you're worried on how you're going to move forward but i feel like you're you're doing great you don't even really see this. Like, you don't see how your children are looking out for you. You don't see how much your children take care of you as much as you take care of them. Like, if, if, if more. Like, your children love you. Or your child, your children love you. It could be two children. Or you can have another one on the way. Or you can have three. You got two to three kids. Or just one. Or you can want two to three kids. Yeah. I feel like you're working on a second child. I feel like um, your child wants a sibling. I don't know what I'm saying that. You can want two kids, but you feel like you can't afford it right now. Don't worry about that. I feel like your children are going to take care of you. Like, when I say that, like, your children literally bring you opportunities. 
They get rid of things that are not working for you. They see what stresses you out. They're like, all right, that stresses you out. We're going to get rid of that. If it's hard for you to get rid of it, don't worry. We're going to get rid of it. Yes, they tried to take nine cups, but we we got we got away with, you know, they got away with eight. They didn't take all the cups. So in actuality, with this four or five of cups, they actually always fill all your cups back up. Because you still kept that one cup from them trying to take nine cups away from you. Trying to take more than what you even had. And, you know, you still got everything back. And this is because of your children. So, literally, this is all your children. This is their energy. Like, that's crazy. That's so crazy. Yeah, so if things are not working, that's fine. Because this is your children's energy. Like, yeah, this is like... They will fight your battles for you in a five in a five D like crazy. Like when I say they fight your battles, like this is your guardian angel. Your guardian angel is your child, and I feel like if if you have more children, those are all your guardian angels. Like literally, you'll have like a team of guardian angels on the earth. Like they're all gonna be earth angels. Like you're you're just giving birth to earth angels. Yeah, and they're not really with, like, your children are very mature. Even if you did not have them yet, they're very mature. They don't like conflict. They see that it doesn't get you any, anywhere. So they, they don't entertain conflict. So they don't feel like you should either. So I feel like you're becoming like that more, like, more like that. It's because of your children. You're Because they're already in you. They just need to come out of you. So they're going to be very mature. They know that conflict does not solve anything. It just kind of depletes you. So they will not ever entertain that. I feel like they understand what give and take is because of your lessons. I feel like the more lessons you learn, the more you're giving to your child through your DNA and your genetics. I'm just giving you what I'm, I'm hearing right now. <laughs> yes. Um, and the Ten of Cups came out reverse. Yeah, I feel like they're just not happy when you're not happy. So when you're not happy, your children are not happy. And guess what? They're going to go on a 5D and they're going to get them cups for you. Like, they're like, oh, no, nah, my my mother. And then you got the Ten of Cups. Like, your children are, like, goats. Like, they're, they're like, the MVPs. Like, they do not play about their mama. Or, like, whoever your children's ancestors are, they don't play about you. Like, it don't matter if you're losing everything or somebody's trying to take their damn everything away from you. They can think that they took eight cups. But they're going to give you back this 10 cups. Like, you're always going to get it back. So don't worry about anything. Don't worry about losing anybody. Don't worry about, like, you know, things you feel like you missed out on. You feel like somebody robbed you. No. You're going to get everything back. And I heard tenfold. They really don't like to see you sad. Yeah, they, they don't like to see you sad. <laughs> your children can act like your father sometimes. Like, yo, like, if somebody, if somebody makes you sad, they're up. Like... They're an op. Like, it don't matter. Like, they are an op. Your children are, like, the bomb.com. <laughs> like, they don't fuck with that. They don't fuck with people making you sad or trying to take from you or trying to take more from you than what they're giving or trying to get over on you. Nah, they be handling that shit in the 5D. And I feel like you don't like that shit, but they be handling that shit. Like, somebody stole from you in the 5D, they getting everything back times 10 in the 5D, honey. But yes, um, how to. That is how your children feel about you. Your children are dope. They're earth angels. They're your guardian angels. So, like, when you were a young child, they were your guardian angels. And now you're giving birth to your guardian angels. So, you'll always be protected. You'll still be protected in a 5D by their ancestors. Because I feel like whoever their ancestors are, like, through their father or through their mother. And if they're not around, they're taking care of both of y'all. All right. So... Go on to group number three. And if you made it this far, group number two, leave a little heart emoji down below. But group number three, for those who chose the Roku TV remote, um, this is your reading for how your children feel about you. Uh, um, how does group three's children feel about um, you? There's a whole lot of money in this. I feel like your children come to you for money and that's really it. And that makes you very unhappy. That's weird because I don't see any pentacles, but I, I don't know why I heard that. Like your children only come to, come to you for money or like for opportunities out of you. And other than that, they don't talk to you or call you or anything like that. That's kind of sad. Yeah, they don't even check for you. Like unless you're giving them something. Yeah, I feel like they have no patience with you. You can be a Sag. I'm getting a Sag Leo real heavy. 
Um, I feel like all you do is work. Okay. I feel like they only see you for money. That's terrible. Like, they won't come out. They won't come out and see you unless you're giving them money. Literally. Yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah, that's why I was getting that. I was like, I feel like you could have a whole lot of money. That's just... Or like you stop giving them money. You could be really rich, right? And like you give your children an allowance and you just feel like they don't care about you. I feel like... This is uh, some, uh, okay. So what I'm saying is, right, you could be on the road a lot or like you can just be traveling a lot. I feel like they like their mother more. So, okay, I feel like you're a man. You can be a Virgo man. I'm getting Virgo Sag, Leo, very heavy. And the judgment card, the Sag. I'm getting Sag, very heavy. Um, Virgo, Leo, very heavy. So you can be a man. Your children kind of favor with their mother because your the mother cannot even have that much money. But I feel like the children side with their mother because like you're always traveling or like you're always like quick to like move on or like you're quick to move forward with your life. So it's like I feel like they think that you're very selfish. Like you're just you just think you just think about yourself. And you think about what you have to do and you think about, you know, what's good for you, even if you're making it seem like like, I'm getting, like, this feeling, like, it's kind of manipulative because air signs, like, this air, like, you can be manipulative with your, like, how you speak or, like, regardless of work or, like, you're, like, I'm working on my money. I'm saving up my money, so you don't want to give them money, but they need money or, like, you know, they want to plan for their future. Yeah, so they're, like, you're my father. I don't know. I feel like you lied to them about not having money or, like, you lied to them about, like, you know, like, taking trips with them, like, you know, plans in the future, I feel like you let go plans in the future with them a lot, like, you can be like, oh, we're going to Hawaii, you know, next month, and not do it, or like, you're like, oh, I'm gonna come see you, or I'm gonna come out there to, like, Texas, or, like, to Alabama, or to Mississippi, or to New York, and you don't do it, you're, like, a liar, yeah, I feel like you're getting your karma back now, because I feel like you, you could have been, like, very manipulative with your words or, like, how you move. Like, I'm just saying, like, how you move. Like, I feel like, like, you make it seem like the things that you do are not that big a deal because they don't really know all of the de all of the details. So, it's like, oh, they don't really know all of the details with the rainbow on top of it. So, it's not, it's not that bad. No. Your children know. They can feel it. They know. They see how you are. They know you. They see how you move. It doesn't matter what you say. It's about what you do. It doesn't matter, you know... What you say is about what you don't say. It doesn't matter what you about what you don't say. It's a, it's about what you say. So your children are not stupid. I feel like they understand like how to treat you and where to put you. Yeah, I feel like I feel like you're very. I feel like this is a man. And you're very emotionally manipulative, and then you think that your children don't understand. <laughs> reading right here i feel like you're a man and you're very emotionally manipulative and you think that your children are ignorant they're young they're ignorant they don't understand with the daughter of pentacles they're young-minded like they're just starting no no i feel like your children don't like you they think you're very immature and you came out the father of wands i feel like yeah this is definitely for a man like they feel like you have no passion for them because like you see how the um father of wands doesn't have like the wine is not really there. Like, I feel like they feel like you have no passion for them. Like, your love is fake. Like, you don't love them. So, that's why they only come to you for money. I feel like that's the only thing that... I feel like that's the only way they get something out of you. Like, literally, they only ask you for money because that's the only thing that can get out of you or to make it seem like you care. It seem like, you know, because they know all you care about is yourself and your money. So, to get love from you, if you give them money or you give them your time... That's showing them that you kind of care and you kind of love them. But it's like they kind of see you as really shallow because of that. And you think that they don't see you, but they see you. They see you. Especially like if, even if you think that like your ex-wife or like, you know, this could be your ex-wife. You think that your ex-wife said anything. I feel like they just they hold their tongue when it comes to you. But like if their child if the um if your children ask, she'll probably tell them, you know. 
I feel like she lied, like, if this is your ex-wife, like, she lied a lot about you, said he wouldn't see you in, like, a certain light, but I feel like, like, I'm hearing, like, mom's a liar, like, let's say, like, you cheated on your ex, right? And then she was like, no, we just need some time apart to stand in third. They think that their mom's a liar now because they had, like, I feel like she hid, like, who you are. Like, yeah, she hid who you are, like, for them, but they knew. Like, so they kind of like, why does she lie? But I feel like they don't understand, like, yeah. Yeah, it's like a lot of lies. It's like, you know, telling your children, oh, Santa's coming on, is on. you know, those lies. Like, I feel like y'all told, like, your wife or your ex-wife have to tell them a lot of lies to like kind of, you know, because they were young. This might have happened like when they were really young, like, and, you know, their mother's trying to protect them. But I feel like your child, like, they know. You see this? They know. There's no point of lying. I know Santa Claus is not real. I know the Easter Bunny is not real. I know dad is not, you know, he's not really interested or he's not passionate or he doesn't love us or, you know, he only loves himself. He only loves his money. Or he does his work. He doesn't make time. Or he makes his excuses. Yeah, I feel like, yeah. I feel like your children really think that you do not care about them. <laughs> like they feel like you don't care about them but you care about yourself and your money so that's why they only come to you for money because that's how they feel love out of you or like they feel like you know you're actually interested in being in their life because you're giving them money or like they're kind of sick of that they're like you know all he does is give me money he thinks that money is okay you know giving me money is okay but like not spending time with me like this things like that power three just things like that, pile three. Yeah, so I'm just really seeing like you you might be a father and you might work a lot, or you're just like, you know, I'm just feeling like a man of like because like a man of like color. Like you're kind of like, you know, I feel like men of color are really they could be really selfish and like put themselves before everybody else and then try to make it seem like with this, like make it seem like your actions aren't really doing anything to anybody. No, look at all this darkness. You keep thinking about the times that, oh, you remember when I took you to piano practice and I was there for you and this, but you weren't there in a lot of other ways that really have to be accounted for too. Because if you don't learn how to take accountability for yourself, people are going to hold you accountable. And this is what you get. You get children that really don't like you. They feel like you don't love them. You don't care about them. So they just see you as a bank. Like they see like, what else is he good for? I'm sorry, pal three, that went left, but... Yeah, if that resonated with you, definitely leave a um, uh, a hamburger emoji down below and like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, until next time, bye.